turn your negative beliefs into gratitude. Hello, all you beautiful souls out there in my social media family. How are you doing today? My name is Chris, and I'm here to help you find your happiness. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about turning negative beliefs into gratitude. So how do we go about doing that? Well, I'm gonna give you some real life experiences and some real life situations where I have been able to do that to find a lot of inner peace and inner happiness. So um, let's start with the very first one. So there's this person that I really care about that I would like to have back in my life. And you know, right now there's some times where I get these thoughts like, oh, well, am I ever gonna have that opportunity again? Well, one of the things that I've done, instead of looking that as a loss, and you hear me say this in other videos, I've turned that into a lesson. And so what do I mean? I mean that rather than sitting here and dwelling on the fact that I may never get a chance to be able to, to see that person again and another opportunity, what I do is I thank that person for actually, you know, giving me the opportunity to realize what it is that I need to heal within myself in order to be able to be a better version of myself should I get the opportunity or when that opportunity comes back around. Other things that you may have, you know, be thinking about yourself, like you may have an issue with, you know, finances and you're thinking to yourself, man, am I ever gonna be able to turn my finances around? Well, maybe you can start looking at that as be thankful for at least the, the fact that you still have a job, that you still have the opportunity to create a side hustle because there's other people that maybe don't have that ability to do that, okay, with through whatever reasons that, that are that are the case. But if you have, you know, two legs, two arms, two hands, and, and you're able to speak well and, and, and move well, then you obviously have the ability to create some sort of financial abundance. It's just up to you to stop dwelling in that negative aspect of it, like is it ever gonna happen or can I do this, and actually start to take action towards it. And again, you hear me say this in other videos, as long as you're taking baby steps, even if it's just small little steps every day towards something more, more abundant, that's what matters. And so therefore, you can be grateful for being able to have that ability to take those small little baby steps. Other things that we could be talking about are, you know, you may be having some problems with family members or friends or, you know, siblings, whatever it may be. And so therefore, again, I want you to try to, instead of dwelling on those negative aspects that you have or negative beliefs that they'll never change or they're jerks or they're, you know, if you're gonna think much worse, I highly encourage you not to think that way because when we do, that's more what we're attracting more of. So for example, like for myself, like I'm, I'm in a situation right now where I don't speak to my mom. But yet, I don't sit here and dwell on the fact that I don't speak to her. Whenever that thought comes into my mind, will I ever get the opportunity to, to, to you know, reconnect with her? What I do is I be, I mean, I'm grateful for the fact that I can understand where she's coming from and I send her all the love and light that I possibly can. And through that, it helps me get away from that thought process of, you know, of dwelling on those negative beliefs. So again, I really wanna encourage you that any time that you run into a, or, or that you know, negative beliefs start to come into your mind, okay, I really want you to start to try to see how you can turn that into a positive. And you hear me say this in other videos, okay, instead of being in a problem-based way of thinking, start thinking in a solution-based way. And from there, you'll be able to do a lot of healing just like I have and you'll be able to start to understand why things happen. And for me, my biggest belief is that things like that that happen in our life are happening to try to teach us something about ourselves. And what are those things? That we need to love ourselves more, respect ourselves more, and accept ourselves for exactly who we are. And that is what I've been able to do in my life, and I've reached the point of inner peace and inner happiness, just like I was when I was a kid before all of experiencing any of these traumatic things that happened to me in my life. And I can't tell you how amazing it is to be able to come out into the world with those same eyes of wonder and joy and peace that I had when I was a kid. And that is exactly what I wish for you. So again, turn your negative beliefs into gratitude and you'll start to see all of those changes just like I have. All right, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and please share this video with somebody who you think might benefit from it because we never know when the right words from the right person are gonna hit somebody at the right time and help them find their happiness. Until next time, I'm sending you all much love. Namaste.